Hey folks, you're here today. We're going to have uh, a little video. It's, we're going to call this the Mort Short. Not cooking today. We're going to talk about ribs. Something in particular. I have a little thing I'm doing this weekend. I'm going to be cooking a bunch of ribs. And there was a difference between the ribs and I thought about just sharing the information as far as what I know about the ribs. So today we have Smithfield ribs. We have a St. Louis cut and we have a full rack. Now these are Smithfield, not sponsored by, by Smithfield, um, but this is what I have today. Um, this, these ribs are the exact same. The only difference is, is this has got the rib tip on it. The full rack has got the rib tip on it. So what I'm going to, what I want to show you today is the difference between the St. Louis rack. I can trim this, peel the membrane off the back, throw this on the grill. I'm ready to go. This here, I can also do the same, but I prefer to actually cut that rib tip off and have that rib tip as a separate piece, a separate meal. If you want to use it for another project that they have, whatever, um, completely separate meal if you want. So what I want to do is I want to take these and I want to show you, this is actually what that rib is, that full, the full size rib I showed you. So this, that rib is actually, this is the rib tip part up here. There's your nice looking, nice looking rack of ribs right there. And what I want to do is I want to square this up. In order to square this up, we're going to simply come in here. We're going to find the longest bone. Here's another thing too. So this little flat back here, sometimes it's here, sometimes it's not. This is like one would consider like if you were to go to a store and buy like a flank steak. This is kind of what you're getting um, on a flank steak is a um, it's like belly meat. I'm going to show you something with this here in just a bit. Um, but I'm going to take this rack of ribs and we're going to square this up here real quick. All right. So we're going to take this, which is a full rack. We're going to make this into a St. Louis cut. By doing this, there's a breastbone up here. I'm going to take that breastbone. Now, these in the front part of this, it's, you have bone on the back side, but then it turns into cartilage on the front side. So all these pieces of cartilage in there, you can cut them with a knife fairly easy. So I'm going to stretch this rib out, and I want to find my longest bone that I have in the rack, which is about right here. And... I'm basically going to draw a line down through there. I'm going to cut along that line. And this is a rib tip. Plenty of rib meat. This is kind of towards the belly. There's lots of fat. There's a bunch of cartilage in there. But um, this is more towards bacon um, side. There's a little bit of fat in there. You're gonna, it's it, this will be a nice piece to to cook separately from the ribs, and uh, you can chop this up if you wanted to do like a, an, a, a let's say like a Chinese dish or something like that. You could do a sweet and sour. I'm just trying to think of some cool stuff you could do with those little pieces of pork. Absolutely delicious. Don't throw this away. Our rib itself is ready to go. These ends over here, if you wanted to. Um, if I was going to do this in like a competition or something, I, by all means, I would trim this up, square it up. For home use, you have this little floppy end over here. I'm just going to cook that. I'm going to leave that on there. I'm not going to cut that thing off. Um, the only other thing that you would have to do, if you're ready, uh, if you're going to cook these up, I would, uh, you're going to peel this membrane. There's a membrane on the back side of the bones. Paper towels, easiest, quickest way that I found to get that membrane off there. Um, but you can peel that membrane right off there and uh, there you go completely off the back side if you don't it makes it back a little chewy but there's your st louis style here is your rib tips clean this up just a little bit so there's your rib tip so i'm going to throw these both on the grill at the same time and i want to show you something else and remember that I had cut this little piece off, the little flap off inside the rib. This piece here, it has a 
It has a, a, a thick little layer of stuff here, but the, the meat, there's lots of good meat on there. Like I said, this is almost like a flank steak. So if you wanted, you could actually take this thing, and what I like to do with it is you can cut off the meat right off of the, the little like silver skin inside, like basically what I peeled off the inside of that rib. So you got these little pieces like here. Now I'm going to do tomorrow, I'm cooking 12 racks of ribs and um, 11 of the 12 have this is going to have this flat. Now sometimes depending on the butcher, um, they trim it really well and you don't get much of that. But just off of this one rib, I have these really nice pieces. This is most people just throw this away. I don't even, it's just a hunk of little piece of meat. Who in the heck would ever do anything like that? Tacos? Oh yeah. Tacos, kebabs. You could season that up. Um, great use for this little bit instead of throwing it out. So here we are, Mort Short. I hope you learned something today. Um, wanted to pass this along to you guys and uh, pay attention. We're going to have a video out here in the next couple weeks. Uh, I, who knows what we're going to do? I'm not really sure yet, but we are going to work on that. So till next time, we'll see you then.